I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our off-season college football coverage with Steve from collegefootballwinning.com, a professional handicapper who only does college football. We've been doing a single team previews with them all off-season long, forecasting their possible uh, ATS fortunes and uh, analyzing their current uh, futures odds to win the BCS championship with them. And right now we're going to take a look at Louisville. Steve, thanks for being back with us. Thank you for having me back, Peter. All right, the Louisville Cardinals. At Pinnacle right now, their odds to win the 2014 BCS Championship are plus 2031, and that puts them in a tie with five other teams for sixth place. So I guess Pinnacle's ranking them as about the ninth or tenth uh, best college football team in the country. Do you think that's an appropriate ranking? I think that is almost right on. I think okay. that is appropriate. Yeah, I mean, they are coming off of a, of a winning year, but uh, they were actually only 6-7 and seven against the spread last year. So do uh, you think they're going to be a, a top-10 uh, AP ranked in the preseason polls? I do think so, and I think they deserve to be there. Uh, as you said, they were 6-7 and seven against the spread in 2012, 11-2 straight up, an amazing breakout season for Louisville under Charlie Strong. Now, they, they failed to show a profit right. in 2012, despite having this amazing 11-2 and straight-up record. So we, we have sort of a, a theory that we use or a set of guidelines that we follow when we're attempting to predict against the spread profitability for a season. And one is we're looking for an improvement in straight-up wins. That Louisville had. We're looking for a, a low preseason ranking. And we're also looking for uh, some sort of extreme uh, against the spread year the year prior. So we want them to do poorly the year prior because it suggests a bounce back for the next year. Well, entering 2012, as we said, Louisville definitely improved on their straight-up win total in 2012. Uh, they, they went all the way up, as we said, to 11 straight-up wins. But they were ranked in the preseason top 25 for the first time since 2007. So that's a ding against them. There were that's evidence of high expectations or higher expectations for them. And they were coming off of a profitable 2011 season where they were 61.54% against the spread. So those two things basically offset that, uh, that increase in straight-up wins. So we look at 2013. Their strength of schedule is ranked 90th. They are returning 15 out of 16 starters. Louisville can... They can actually increase their straight-up win total, even though they had 11 from last season. Over the past 10 seasons, three out of four times, that Louisville added to their straight-up win total over the, the previous season, they were profitable. The only exception was last year, 2012, and we already gave you the reasons for that. Uh, conversely, over the last 10 years, every time they had a straight-up season win total that was less than the year before, they had an unprofitable against the spread season. Now, nearly all the way-too-early preseason polls have Louisville in the top 10. We think that's warranted. But over the past 10 years, uh, Louisville has been in the, the top 25 just four times. Three out of those four. I'm sorry, the preseason mm -hmm. top 25 just four times. Three out of those four years, they were unprofitable against the spread. In 2013, this next season, could mark Louisville's highest preseason ranking that they've ever had. That is a bad sign for season against the spread profitability. Now, and some trends for uh, some betters to pay attention to. Don't bet Louisville when they're home dogs. I don't think they're going to be a home dog this year, but mm -hmm. if you see it, Charlie Strong has yet to win a game against the spread as head coach at Louisville as a home underdog. Don't bet the Cardinals as double-digit favorites. Since Charlie Strong has been there, they're 3-7 and seven against the spread, 30%. They were 2-4 in 2012 alone. And on the positive side, uh, since Strong has been at Louisville, they are 10-2, and 10-2 and two against the spread as away underdogs. So look for that. Hmm. Since Strong has been at Louisville, here's also an interesting one. They have won all four games against the spread when the difference between the opening line and the closing line has been at least two and a half points in favor of Louisville or toward Louisville, meaning that if Louisville becomes uh, a greater favorite or uh, less of an underdog by at least two and a half points from opening to closing, that is a good sign for Louisville. They, they've won all those games. So in other words, pay attention to uh, extreme line movement. Now, as far as 
the 2014 BCS National Championship goes, uh, unlike the, the Texas preview that we just did, uh, we this is actually this is the exact inverse. We thought Texas uh, would probably be a good bet against the spread for the season, but not a good bet uh, for the BCS championship. Right. We think right. the exact opposite of Louisville. We think Louisville not necessarily a good bet against the spread for for the season. However, we do like Louisville as a nice value play for the 2014 BCS national championship, and that is based on our 60% rule that we wrote on SBR earlier this offseason. You said uh, Pinnacle has their odds basically 20 to 1. Uh, Bovada has Louisville at 22 to 1. Following our 60% rule, these guys have a junior quarterback in Teddy Bridgewater, arguably one of the best quarterbacks we're going to see in 2013. He is a phenomenal quarterback. Statistically, he is a better passer than Johnny Manziel. Uh, 13 of the 15 previous BCS champions had top 10 scoring defenses, and 12 of those 15 had top 20 scoring defenses the year before they won the national championship. Now, Louisville last year was ranked 36th in scoring defense, so they're not in that top 20. However, Charlie Strong is a defensive guy. He was a defensive coordinator for 11 years before he got the head coaching job at Louisville. Four of those 11 years his scoring defenses were in the top 10. Louisville returns for 2013 nine defensive starters, more than all but four FBS teams, and none of those other four FBS teams had a scoring defense that was ranked in the top 50. Now, only three of the 15 teams who won a BCS without having a top 20 scoring defense the season prior, uh, only, sorry, one of them was Florida of 2008, and their defensive coordinator was Charlie Strong. So they made that leap. It was a 42-spot leap. They were ranked 46th in scoring defense the year prior. They were ranked uh, four. Um, they were ranked fourth in scoring defense the year they won the BCS National Championship. And it was Charlie Strong's defense uh, at Florida, and he orchestrated that. Finally, um, as we already said, uh, most of the preseason, the way too early preseason polls, have Louisville in the top 10. We think that's warranted. Uh, they already, they really beat up on Florida in their, their their Sugar Bowl. That was the greatest point spread upset of the 2012-2013 uh, bowl season. And that's obviously a very good SEC team. So we think Charlie Strong knows how to compete against the SEC. He's entering his fourth year. And that's the sweet spot, two to four years for coaches being uh, at that institution we like uh, a value play taking that BCS futures bet on Louisville. All right. Awesome input, as always, Steve, from collegefootballwinning.com. I think I might uh, follow your advice looking to fade Louisville as a double-digit favorite. Thanks so much. Talk to you again very soon.